Welcome into the Road to the College Cup. I'm Austin Render, joined by Jordan Gould. And Jordan, we have a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about the recent success of Indiana should come as no surprise to you as they've won, they're now 12-0 and in their last 12 matches against Big Ten opponents. That continued this past week against Michigan. We'll break that down. We'll also talk about Maryland this weekend. What a big matchup we have in store in College Park between Indiana and the Terrapins. And we'll also talk about some comments made by Todd Yeagley at Media Day about a new type of movement in college soccer to maybe separate the season, part in the fall, part in the spring. We'll break that down. But let's start with the recent success here. Beating Michigan 1-0, that's coming off of a couple 3-1 wins over Northwestern and Penn State. They're 4-0 in Big Ten. I just ask you, Jordan, how does it keep happening? Well, I think you got to give a lot of credit. I mean, they're scoring a lot of goals, but you got, I think it starts with the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, I talked to Jack Mayer this week, and he was saying that this back unit is really starting to finally mesh together and figure it out and really with a guy like Mayer there and a guy that Todd Yeagley decided to make the goal change putting Roman Solentano in it goal over Sean Caulfield who started most of the season I think that's made a big difference of course Solentano earning Big Ten Freshman of the Week honors he's been stellar in the back of the net and really that defensive side of the ball has been fantastic and been a, and been a big reason why Indiana has been on the right end of a lot of these matches. Well, and you, ha you have to give credit to the freshmen. You look at a game like Northwestern, they score three goals. They're all from freshmen. This class has grown up quickly, and that's been such a key part to Indiana's success this year. Yeah, Morris, Penn, Gumbale all in that match, and you've had a lot of key freshmen, not only of those, but Herbert Endele, who started out red hot at the beginning of this season. We talked about Roman Celentano just now. He's been fantastic. A lot of key freshmen that really Coach Yeagley is relying on this so far this year, and it, it's been a huge part of the team's success. Daniel Muni, another one in the back, if we talk about the defensive side, who's been stellar. Well, one of the reasons these guys have been able to flourish so much is leadership. And guys like Simon Waver, I know he's a transfer, but he's stepped up as a leader, as one of the older guys. But Spencer Glass, for sure, has stepped up and been a big veteran presence for this team. Yeah, he's got the hot foot right now. I mean, a goal against Michigan. Some say he has the best left foot in college soccer. He showed it again against Michigan there with the goal with the left foot, a strike that just was at a near impossible angle. I don't know how. I, still I have don't know no how idea. <laughs> And, you know, he's, he's been red hot right now. I think he's the hot foot going into this game against, match against Maryland. And, I mean, we'll see. I think you've got to give Spencer Glass. You've got to feed him the ball. Yeah, he's been good so far. And Indiana's off to an 8-1-3 start. Perfect 4-0 and in Big Ten play coming off that 1-0 win over Michigan. One of the more impressive victories of the season for Indiana. Now let's talk about what came up at media availability this week and something that Todd Yeagley was asked about. He was asked about the new movement in college soccer, maybe splitting up the schedule in the men's soccer season. Let's see what Todd Yeagley had to say about that. The purpose of the letter is that why would we want change if we've had so much success, meaning the top programs? You would think we would, let's keep it the same. We're, we're winning. <laughs> why would we want to change? And so to say from all these coaches that have won a national championship or have consistent programs in the top 20, to say this is good for our sport may not necessarily be good for our, our program success necessarily. We still feel like we'll have equal success. But when um, I think that's what the letter is really intended to be, is that here are the teams that have been winning consistently, and yet we feel it's better for the, the overall good of the sport. So you heard it from Todd Yeagley, Jordan. He is for this, but knows that it's going to take some time. It's going to be a while until it gets moving, but it is something that we should start thinking about. Yeah, and this is not something that's just going to happen overnight. I mean, you heard Yeagley say it, especially with, when you're dealing with the NCAA, where you know this is kind of an unorthodox, crazy idea for them, perhaps. But with what the NCAA preaches with the balance between academics and athletics, it just makes sense, you know, to split this season, especially with the wear and tear that these athletes go through, playing two to three matches a week. Of course, Big Ten tournament, conference tournaments coming up here next month, and then the NCAA tournament to follow that, going all the way into the middle of December. I mean, it's just a lot of wear and tear, a lot of time commitment, and it's something that I think if you split the season up, like Yeagley and a lot of other coaches and successful programs in men's soccer are talking about, I think it's going to go a long way for the sport. Something that's not going to happen immediately, but something that we got to keep our eyes on. Something that is happening immediately, though, is Indiana and Maryland on Friday night. What a great game we have in store for us in College Park. Indiana-Maryland, what a rivalry that's become. Yeah, and these two teams saw each other three times last year, of course. Indiana getting the best of the Terrapins the first two times around. But as everyone knows, it's hard to beat a team three times, especially in a single season. So... 
you know, to beat a team three times is hard enough. Again, they'll have to go to College Park a couple times this year, the first being on Friday. And then, of course, at the end of the uh, regular season, they got the conference tournament rolling around. They'll go back to College Park to play in the Big Ten tournament. So it'll be a, it'll be a battle between these two teams. And they, I don't know, maybe expect another draw. There's four things that a great rivalry needs. Consistently meeting each other, successful programs, competitive programs that are, and that can really go with successful, but you can't have a bunch of blowouts in order to develop a rivalry, and these teams have not. You also need memories and moments. You think back to last year, Andrew Gutman scoring inside the last 10 seconds to have Indiana win 2-1. to one. Hoosiers win on PKs in the second matchup. Those are moments that you won't forget, and that's what makes a rivalry. And the fourth is the fans. And Indiana and Maryland have fantastic fans. The environment in College Park is going to be phenomenal. For more on that, Jack Mayer, Spencer Glass, Todd Yegley, they all weighed in on what to expect this weekend in Maryland. Definitely as an older guy that kind of experienced that game last year, the emotions are still kind of raw and definitely want to be back at the same spot we were. So, I mean, kind of like I said, after we lost, I was eager to start the season again. So definitely this game kind of holds a kind of chip on my shoulder just to kind of go in there and get the job done and kind of show what Indiana is. The atmosphere in and of itself, we know that playing there is a very difficult place to play with their fans. They have really good fans. They're going to pack the house and just sort of having our young guys be ready for the environment that we're going to be in will go a long way. I think they know the, the history of, of the matchups and since they've been in the Big Ten we've had some absolute great battles there. Uh, many of them in draws and you know we expect to get their best like we do with everyone and I think some of our young players who haven't played there will really enjoy the challenge. But this is something that's important for Indiana, this atmosphere, because like Todd Eagley said in that clip you just heard, that this is an atmosphere that will prepare the team for anything because it's almost as hard of an atmosphere as you're going to get all season long. And the road to this Big Ten tournament literally runs through College Park. You have to beat them now to try and keep yourself at the top of the table. But then the Big Ten tournament is literally in College Park. So if Indiana wants to win the double like they did last year, it's going to have to happen at Maryland. A lot of great soccer, a lot of great sports in tap in College Park. It's Beat Indiana Week in Maryland because the volleyball teams played on Wednesday, women's soccer Thursday, men's soccer Friday, and football on Saturday. Boy, we got the schedule makers really wanted to see Indiana and Maryland face off at a lot of different sports. They'll get that. And, of course, the men's soccer game is the headliner on Friday night on BTN. On BTN Plus, the great talent of BTN Plus will be producing the Evansville game for Indiana on Tuesday and then Indiana Rutgers next Friday. So lots to look forward to, but a great game to look forward to in the immediate future as Indiana takes on Maryland this weekend. That'll do it here for Jordan Gold. I'm Austin Render. Have a great weekend and enjoy some soccer.